Friends, we gather in the presence of God to give thanks for the gift of marriage, to witness the joining together of Rachel and Blake, to surround them with our prayers, and to ask God's blessing upon them so that they may be made stronger for their life together and nurtured in their love for God. This magic we feel can happen all the time. God gave us marriage for the full expression of a love between a man and a woman. And in marriage, a woman and a man belong to each other and with affection and tenderness freely give themselves to each other. As we face forever and give love a chance, I'll show you again and again. It's been you. It's always been you. Blake and Rachel, since it is your intention to marry, join hands and with your promises, join yourselves to each other as husband and wife. Oh God, we ask your blessing upon Blake and Rachel. Bless their marriage and as they begin this journey together, we don't know what lies ahead, but help them to make the best of whatever comes their way. So as I was trying to get the corn planted this week, I was so uh, gratefully thankful for uh, GPS and auto steer so I could write my speech uh, on my cell phone uh, in the seat of my tractor because uh, Lord knows I hadn't worked on it until then. Uh, Rachel may present a calm and carefree attitude in the public, but she also has a very strong conviction of what she likes and wants in her life, and she won't sell for anything but what she wants. So I know if Blake fulfills her passionate feelings for what a good husband is, he's definitely the one for her. them to continue to enjoy each other as they did when they first met. Help them to realize that nothing, no one is perfect, and to look for the good in all things and all people, including themselves. Help them to respect each other's likes and dislikes, opinions and beliefs, hopes and dreams and fears, even though they may not always understand them. Help them to learn from each other and to help each other to grow mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. them to realize that no matter what happens to them, they will hold on to each other and know that things have a way of working out for the good. 
Help them to create for their children a peaceful, stable home of love as a foundation on which they can build their lives. But most of all, most of all, dear God, help them to keep their love that they share right now bright and shining, so that by their loving example they may pass on the light of love to their children, to their children's children forever. Rachel, I am so, so proud of your hard work and where it has taken you. You have built yourself an amazing business, and I can't wait to see where you are in the next five, ten years. You may kiss your spouse. Mr. and Mrs. Rachel and Blake Jacobs. I knew Blake was in it for the long haul when Rachel uh, was at the bar and said, put it on Blake's tab. That takes, that takes a lot of guts to spend Blake's money. She was able to get Blake and Brian in a tuxedo during chore time in the middle of planning season. Wow, what a woman. Thank you so much for being exactly what Rachel needs. Thank you for keeping her grounded so I don't have to. Thank you for keeping that smile on her face. I'm so glad you two found each other because I couldn't have picked someone better for my best friend.